Hi, this is Emily with Blogaholic Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to install social media icons onto your WordPress blog without having to edit the code, so it'll be really easy. The first thing that you're going to want to do is find the icons that you want to use. We have icons at our Etsy store, or you can just search Google. Just make sure that the terms allow you to use the icons on your website and then you're going to download those icons to your computer and save them into a folder or file and then you're going to head over to your WordPress blog and you're going to create a new post and you're not ever going to publish this post so you don't need to give it a title unless you want to remind yourself not to publish it and then you're going to click inside the text box and you're going to click add media we're going to upload files and we're going to select the files and then you're going to go to the file folder that has the icons that you downloaded and you're going to select the icons that you want to use. And you want to select all of them right now. So on my keyboard, I'm going to hit control and use my mouse to select the icons I want to use. I'm going to do Facebook, I'm going to do email, and I'm going to do Pinterest. And then I'm going to hit open. And then I want to make sure that each of these has a check mark in it. And I want to make sure the alignment is set to none. And this you can leave because we're going to change it and the size, make sure it's at full size. If you wanted to right now, you could link each icon to its social site by going to custom URL. But if you're not comfortable doing it, I will show you an easier way to do it. So um, I'll put that back where it was. And then go ahead and click insert into post. And then click on visual. And you'll see that right now these icons are stacked and we want them to be side by side because they're smaller icons. If they were longer rectangular icons, we would leave them. But since we want them side by side, let's head back over to text and then you can see the space actually right in here. So all you have to do is click right before that icon, not inside of it, right before it, and then hit backspace, backspace. And then I want there to be a little bit of a space right here so I'm going to click my space bar and then I'm going to do that again for the third icon click right before and then hit backspace backspace and then again right here I want there to be a little bit of a space so I'm going to hit my space bar I'm going to go back to visual and then I want to center my icons you don't have to do this but I like mine to be centered so I'm going to hit control a if you're on a Mac, you would hit Command A. And for this step, don't use your cursor to scroll over because sometimes it restacks the icons and you have to start all over. So just go ahead and hit Control A and then go up and click right here, Align Center. And then now we are going to link all of our icons. Um, I'm going to start with my email. So for my email, I'm going to connect it to my contact page which I set up with a contact form through Jetpack. I'm going to copy that URL and then I'm going to head back over. I'm going to click on the icon and I'm going to link it. Backspace, right click and paste. I want this to open in a new window and then I'm going to hit update. Now if you wanted it to open the email directly you would have to change the code and you can do that by going to the tutorial that is on our website for uh, how to add icons on WordPress but since this one you're not doing the code I suggest connecting it to a contact page that has a form in it and then the next one we're going to do is Facebook and so for Facebook you want to make sure that it's your actual Facebook page and not just facebook.com so this is my Facebook page I'm going to copy the URL and then I'm going to go back, hit Facebook, hit the link button, backspace to remove that, right click and paste. Again, I want it to open in a new tab so people can easily get back to my blog. Hit update. Then I'm going to go to Pinterest. Again, this is for my Pinterest board, so it has my Pinterest username. Right click, copy, back to my post, click on Pinterest and link that. Backspace, right click and paste that URL and then click update and then you want to save draft just in case you ever need to add or edit any of these icons and then click the text tab and now you're going to grab all of that code again you can hit control A or command A or on this one you can roll over and select all of it and then copy it and then you're going to go over to appearance tab 
and go down to your widgets panel and then I want my icons to be in my sidebar which is right here so open that up and then I'm going to grab a text widget and I'm going to drag it over and I want them to be on top so I'll place that right there on top you can title it if you wanted to connect with us but I like to leave mine blank and then you're going to click your cursor inside right click and paste that code and then you're going to hit save and then I'll close this up and then uh, go ahead and view your blog and you should see your icons right there you should be all set uh, if you have any questions you can contact us or you can view this tutorial on our website and it again has that link for the email if you wanted your email to open directly or if you wanted to see the step-by-step -step picture instructions then you can view that tutorial thank you for watching